it's 5.20 in the morning. Uh, I'm, on, I'm on my way from the hotel to the cathedral where I want to start on my Portuguese coastal route. Um, yep, all greased up again with sunscreen, <laughs> even though it's yeah, not yet needed. Um, yep, and as I expected yesterday, my laundry would not dry up in the just hanging inside the hotel room. So I got my t shirt hanging from the backpack, and I guess it would be dry in a few hours. And how will the Camino be today? How many pilgrims? I'm pretty sure there will be quite a few. I saw a few wandering around the city yesterday, like tourists, as maybe we all are, but they had, you could see that they were just excited to get started. So, if you're lucky, today they will have their first experience of the Camino. So that's nice for them, and it would be nice to meet them. That's the cathedral, and here we go. Now just follow the river all the way to the coast. <laughs> So that was it for the river, I'm out, I'm now walking north, it's so peaceful walking out the Porto, all you see is some runners, all you hear are some planes, you're just listening to the waves and the smell of the ocean, it's amazing. This is the Camino. Look at this, changing to the coastal route was definitely the right thing to do from, uh, from Porto. So you have seen, it's uh, quite uh, foggy outside today, but I'm sure the sun at one point will come. Uh, and now the Camino, the trail has been like this for kilometers after kilometers. So it's beautiful to walk here. It's 
So I've been walking for uh, four hours. It's about 9.30. Um, for four hours since I left the cathedral. And uh, almost 24 kilometers. And I think now maybe I saw my first pilgrim. He was sitting on a bench just looking down at his phone, so I didn't talk to him. So if I, I guess if I'm gonna see any pilgrims now, they will be under stage two or day two out of uh, Porto. So we'll see. So after 25 kilometers, I find a pilgrim. <laughs> Hola. Hola, and it's Valeria that I saw three, four days ago. So that's nice. So it's time for my breakfast. I will not have a beer today, but I will have this orange juice. It's been a nice walk so far. So I've done about 27 <clears throat> kilometers now, so I think I also deserve a pastel de nata. that I will have. Perfect breakfast. But of course, when you have the pastel de nata, you also need white port wine. Very good for breakfast. This is Camino, Camino breakfast. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that was a really nice breakfast break not long ago. And if you're wondering, how can you have pastel de nata and port wine for breakfast? Well, how can you not? Fog is gone and sun has arrived. Doing a detour about 15 minutes away from the beach due to a river. I have to find the bridge and do the crossing. Anyway, I realized I haven't given you any Camino tips lately. So here is a good one. How to stay in shape on the Camino? Well, you would think all the walking should be enough. So, of course, you have that. But if you want to do something else, you will always find some kind of equipment along the Camino, which you can use. Or you can run. Or you can use some other equipment. and uh, push-ups or uh, you can find other equipment again or you just stay with the walking the most important thing is you stay strong and you have a buen camino Well, all this talking about staying fit got me hungry. And 
and I think you ordered too much for lunch. But so what? So that was a way too long break. More than one hour and 40 minutes, maybe 145. I just wanted a beer. But the Camino said different. Camino showed me to a restaurant, so they didn't serve beer unless I ate. I didn't want anything big, so just got some starters. The starters were big, so it was too much food. And uh, also, because of so much food, I needed another beer. So yes, the lunch, two beers, and uh, a lot of food, 19 and 19 euros and 50. But no, I don't know if I will be able to eat dinner. And just as I started walking, guess who came? Valeria. But uh, she's staying at this place. I'm going another six kilometers, I think. I don't think I will see her again, but she's pretty sure she will see me again, so we'll see. Actually right now, I think it's good it's just six more kilometers, because after all the food, I mean it was the cheese, olives, fried chorizo, some pate, bread, oh, yes, I'm looking down because there's so much fish here, um, yep, but again, six more kilometers, so hour or 15 maybe, normally one hour, but now I'm walking slow. So, do I regret doing the coastal? No. Look at this. I think uh, the next time uh, we do the Portuguese, I would be stupid not to do the coastal like this. It's, it's beautiful. So I never put the uh, music on when I'm walking Camino, but passing this bar, it's a perfect speed music to get the speed going. So now I'm right back where I'm supposed to be. This is the Camino. This is the coastal. So what does the Camino coast look like? You decide. It's beautiful, eh? This is just as amazing as Pastel de Nata.
What an amazing day to walk. Beautiful. I could uh, could have walked more, but uh, I'm saving it for tomorrow. 42 kilometers a day. I got a room, 40 euros. And this is the room. So just enough space for a bed and to walk past it. Shared bathroom, out in the hall, but still beautiful place. Love it. So for a small rest, now it's time to see what uh, Pouvoua de Vassim has to offer. <laughs> 